Couple nights ago in the NBA, we had a big showcase game. Prime time Saturday night, one of the biggest rivalries, biggest one of the biggest rivalries in sports history. Face off against each other, Lakers and Celtics, the two of the biggest franchises in NBA history. The two of the franchises that have the most championships in NBA history. And the two franchises that have the best players. The superstars. We, on the Lakers side, we got LeBron James. One of the greatest players to ever play the game. We got Russell Westbrook. One of the greatest point guards to ever play a game. Mr. Triple Double. Despite him coming off the bench. Despite him regressing. We got Pat Bev. Who obviously is not in that conversation. But he's one of the biggest pests in the game. And then we got Anthony Davis, who finally came back from his injury. One of the best players, best big man to play the game. Facing off against a Celtics team who is number one in the East. One to have the best young talent in the game. Look at Jason Tatum. He's an MVP candidate. One of the best players to, that's playing right now. Followed by his sidekick. A two-way, a, 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 one of the best two-way players in the game. Jalen Brown. Followed by a former defensive player of the year, Marcus Smart. And followed by a veteran who's been playing in the in the league for a minute and has know how to play the game for both sides of four and Al Horford. The game live up to this to its potential with the game being tied in the fourth quarter with a couple seconds left. As LeBron James gets the ball. By the way, he dropped 41 this game. When he gets the ball, he drives to the hoop. Easy layup, right? He gets hacked and gets hit on the wrist by Jason Tim. Oh, it's going to be a foul, right? No foul call. And this is the biggest problem we have in the NBA. The NBA refs. They must be stopped. What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Will. We'll be back again with another video. And I know it's a long intro, but it's going to be a short video because we're going to talk about these NBA refs. They are ruining the game. This game was supposed to be an amazing showcase between one two greatest franchises in NBA history. And it lived up to its potential until the last couple of seconds in the fourth quarter. LeBron James got to the hoop. Look like easy layer, right? Look like he's going to go to the free dunk line. No foul call. After it was no foul call, not only the game with the overtime, but I seen an outrage from LeBron James that I never seen before in my life. And I've watched LeBron James my whole career. He was a LeBron James fan. I've never seen him that mad. Look like he was about to like he was about to, he was about to hurt somebody. And it was going to be the NBA refs. Followed by Patrick Beverly showing a camera footage to the ref. And he, they teed him up for that. See, NBA refs that wear these Foot Locker uniforms are making the game very soft. Worse than Charmin. Nowadays, they'll smell your breath and give you a tech. Nowadays, you have a conversation with them, they give you a tech. Nowadays, you point a finger at somebody, at your players, at your own teammates. You'll get a tech. Look at Steph Curry. He threw his mouth guard. Yeah, he should never done that, but he got a tech for that. He wasn't throwing at the ref. Now look at Patrick Beverly. Last night versus the Brooklyn Nets. Not one, but two times they got it wrong. They called a kickball violation on Patrick Beverly when he clearly ripped the ball from Kyrie Irving with his hand. He didn't his foot didn't even touch the ball. Then when Kyrie Irving shooting a three, it looked like he was Patrick Beverly was still defending him, and he stopped himself from fouling him. But they called a foul. This has been going on and on and on and on for the whole season. And the the Lakers and Celtics game was supposed to be the the game that was trending on Twitter. No, we st it's Tuesday afternoon, and the NBA officiating NBA refs are still trending from that game. 
from that horrific missed call. Probably the worst missed call I've, I've ever, ever seen. They going against LeBron. They going against all these superstars. They giving all these techs. And they're making the game a lot worse than what it should be. These NBA refs need to be stopped. And the NBA needs to make a change about this. They need to fire these refs. Hire some really good refs. Have a agreement. A sit down with the the NBA PP presence. And really figure out the situation with these, these referees and this officiating. It's getting as bad when the NFL back in, what, 2016, 2015, when it was horrible with the pass interference calls and everything. These NBA refs are getting worse in the NFL. They need to be stopped immediately because if it doesn't, NBA is going to get even worse. And a lot of these players are not going to want to play because it looks like their NBA refs are playing the game and not the NBA players. That's what it really come down to. There's no way in hell that was not a foul on Jason Tatum. Even Jason Tatum in press conference knew that was a foul. He just don't want to say it. You know, they want to give, give out give out a post or a letter talking about, oh, they, they got it wrong. We sorry. Oh, yeah. It's always, it's always aftermath. They want to give out a letter and... Fake apologize for their mistake that they purposely did to this man, LeBron James. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all I got for this video. The NBA, this is a huge problem. If y'all don't get this fixed, it's going to get worse and worse and worse. Y'all need to fix this, man. These refs need to be stopped. That's all I got today for this video, man. If y'all new, like, make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you're new. And I'm out, y'all.